quick look at these uh these chinese sci gears you might may have seen them under different brands there's like a super shooter brand or you might see army force brand and generally all the same they might not be made in the same factories they might be just sort of they might have got the files from somewhere and just be making their own but generally uh, i would say zci have been around the longest um that that too in uh, shs but they are they are quite a nice gear and generally what i find is if you've if you've been working on a new build and you've been having problems with, with um Having problems with maybe getting them to fit properly in the, in the gearbox, and you're getting a few weird noises. Maybe maybe the alignment isn't exactly what you want. Then generally, with rocket gears or another gears or SHS gears, then generally, what I find is once you try these, then that normally eliminates the problem. So either one will work, but of course, you know, and then you just keep this as a spare, use them for something else. But they are they have perhaps a little bit over engineered. They've got the they've got the shaft that comes out. It's a very very strong steel shaft. Um, it's got a fixed fixed um top of um brass or copper ring on at the top there um that goes in there it's got a it's got a bearing inside it's a two-part design so what i've also find as well as soon as i get them or as soon as i as soon as i try and fit them i always make sure that these are always done up the tightest and um, it's a bit difficult to get underneath that one but you can sort of prize that that will that will come out there. It's not glued in or anything like that. It's just it's just pushed in. Yeah, don't hit it with a hammer. Just if so, if you're refitting it, just just put it into a vise and just slowly turn, slowly turn, and it will just push it back on there. Um, it's got a little mirror in there. Pointless, pointless. But they're um, they they do work quite well. It's the same similar sort of design with the, with the spur gear. Yeah, you've got the uh, you've got the shaft there. You've got the bearing. It's a two-parter. Um, it's not um, it's not bolted, not with screwed like this one, so it's um, sintered or it's or it's got some sort of weld in there. Uh, again, pretty much never come across any problems with these. Uh, generally, they just work um, unless the unless the person has, has fitted them incorrectly. Again, watch out if you're going to be going for the thirteen to one. Look at watch out for PME. Look at your battery. It's all about minimising, getting that fine balance between your rate of fire your speed and your reliability and personally i prefer to some go f with something a little bit more reliable but um you know everybody's everybody's different again the um again the, these are these are both from what i can tell both fully cnc machined very strong you're gonna, you're gonna get the strongest you're gonna get the strongest uh result uh when you machine parts directly from from uh hardened steel uh, the the bevels, like every other bevel that's available, is is from what I can tell um, molded. So it's put into a it's, they create a mold and then they just inject uh, a, a powdered liquid metal, and then from that you get uh, you get one of these generally in two parts. You've got the bottom part and the top part, and then they just they just push it together and and then they do some pinning here. They might do some little spot welds there, but generally pretty decent pretty decent uh gear set for the price only a few quid extra than your standard rocket gears um rocket gears are still my favorite still the ones i prefer to use um initially but these ones these ones work great if you can't get a if you can't get a good fitment in your in your gearbox shell then go for these ones